people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people like I've always said, there is a copycat syndrome going on in Jamaica. And soon as something basically start pop off, everybody start to follow on people what is trending. We are speaking about the two foot pussy and we are speaking about the hyena ism and people. We are talking about some thief. We are jack up some people and attack them things. However, in this situation, the video that I am about to show, we saw the security spot what was going on and she to lock out the man after he was under his stress. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'm going to give my piece. Now, people, this just shows you the disturbing trend that is going on in Jamaica because this man obviously pull up another place and people, I don't know if it is by customs where he went to pick up the barrel. I am not sure. I don't know the specifics. However, we saw that he went for the pickup and it seems like somebody had some other intention. They were there or he was there for the stick up. So people, the man go inside and when he went inside and was coming back with a barrel or two, we see so the man running upon him. We are talking about the thief. We are talking about the jack of people. And people, you see him grab him and I tell him, say, listen, just cooperate. Don't move. Nobody move. Nobody get hurt. So people, it only shows you how barefaced and thief and have no scruples or any sort of principle. These new millennials are. Them not care if it's a business place. Them not care if people are watch. Them not care if them dep on CCTV. Once they are desperate, they are going to do whatever it takes. And people, what was even worse about this situation is the fact that the security came and saw. Well, I am not sure if she saw. However, may I have to ask the question. If you are security, you are supposed to be alert. So somebody I get jack up, somebody I get stick up in your building, or your place of employment, place of establishment, and you know, see, so people, it only shows you how lackadaisical persons are, how negligent persons are, because this man could have lose him life. 
So instead of this lady who is supposed to be secured to call the Pope or call some sort of alert or some sort of alarm, she basically turn a blind eye, she basically lock out the man. So she only make the man's situation worse. But people like me say, the moral of the story is this. You have to be very careful out there on this mean street, on this thiefing street of Jamaica, because we see that desperate times calls for a desperate measure. And these people out there, them hungry. These people out there, they are barefaced. They these people, may I talk about these criminals, it seems as if they are on some sort of, we are talking about S-U-I-C-I-D-E mission. Them not care anything or anything, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word, I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel through Jamaica Buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the Popo and especially the specialized unit of the Popo, the JC of Jamaica Constable Force, we see that they are on a rampage in a Kingston and people. When you talk about St. James, when you talk about Montego Bay, you know that that place is known for all sorts of gang activity. So anyways, on the 27th of July, we are speaking about on Monday, the Popo went on a rampage in a place called Norwood, a place called Angeline. And they recovered three pistols and also we are talking about a M to the 16. We are talking about a tall up and also 117 rounds of ammunition. Now based on the information it is said that one Glock pistol, two Taurus and the M to the 16 and 45 rounds of 5.56 rounds. We are speaking about the M16. We are talking about them sort of shot there and also 72 9mm shots or 9mm rounds. The information also revealed that these fine or this fine of guns and ammunition might be linked to the area gang. We are speaking about the G City gang. And people, if you realize about last week, we saw that the Popo intercepted some men that are supposed to be or allegedly from the Sparta gang. And we also saw that they slapped away the leader of the Preke gang. We are speaking about Preke Boy himself. So whenever we mention Montego Bay St. James, we are talking about Canterbury, we are talking about Flankers, we are talking about Sparta, we are talking about Preke, we are talking about G-City, we are talking about Gulf, we are talking about Hugger Lane, just to name a few. Some people we are speaking about a place that is contaminated with a whole lot of guns and a whole lot of gangs and a whole lot of murder. So people, that is why we see the Popo making all sorts of raid. And based on the information, it is said that the place called Angeline, the whole the house them the whole of the car them any and everybody got searched we are talking about dog post we are talking about all lady we are talking about little picnic so people we sister the popo they are very serious at this time and this is not the right time this is not the appropriate time for anybody that wants to be a gangster especially in a kingston especially in a montego bay that means that uh, you either give up on yourself or take away on yourself and this is not an advice to people if you go hide and come back and do whatever they feel like doing afterwards me just uh, say you might want to rethink your trade or your profession point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up so the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the alleged done of the jakes road we are speaking about gang we are speaking about on mountain view i am speaking about a person whose name is everton douglas we see that he is presently in court and he is challenging. We are speaking about himself and his lawyer. We are speaking about a person whose name is Isaac Buchanan. They are challenging the state of emergency because based on the information, it is said that Mr. Douglas was taken into custody about January of 2020 and it is said that he is held under the state of emergency. And if you know anything about the state of emergency, you can be held indefinitely. However, we saw that last week the Supreme Court ruled that the SOE is unconstitutional, it is illegal. 
So basically what happened is that Justice Bertram Morrison, who is a part of the Supreme Court, he said that these five men are supposed to have their day in court on a case by case, one by one basis. And the first one that was up, we are speaking about Everton Douglas. Now based on the information, based on the report, it is said that yesterday there was some sort of cross-examination and we are speaking about some witness from the DPP, some witness from the Justice Party. And based on what the poor, poor witness for the prosecution is saying, Mr. Douglas is a violence producer and he is one of the main reasons for all of the flare up in Mountain View as it pertains to Jake's Road versus Jarrett Lane versus Backbook. So people, they must say he is the one that is causing all the tension. However, the justice, we are speaking about the Supreme Court, rule that these men, they have to prove why these men are held under the state of emergency and not being charged after being locked up for in excess of one year, nine months, five months, six months, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. So anyways, we are speaking about their lawyer. I am speaking about Isaac Buchanan. He said that he is not challenging the fact that these men were locked up. He is challenging the fact that it is unconstitutional. It is unjust for them to be locked up and not be charged. So therefore, the court is hearing their case on a case by case basis. We are talking about five men that were locked up under the state of emergency in a different year. We are talking about Spanish Town. We are talking about Kingston. We are talking about Westmoreland. We are talking about St. James. So people, the moral of the story is this. The lawyers filed a habeas corpus under Bertram Morrison of the Supreme Court and they are hearing their day. They are having their day in court. So I will let you know exactly what happens. I will let you know what type of decision is made as it pertains to the Supreme Court. But people, I will just say, as it pertains to Jamaica, any and everybody is linked. May I talk about the Supreme Court? May I talk about the Court of Appeal? May I talk about the DPP? May I talk about the Pope? May I talk about the Commissioner? May I talk about the government? May I talk about Andrew Holmes, JLP, PNP? It is one link and they are always going to make decisions as it pertains to the country or what they feel is for the better of the country. And the truth and the facts is that if this man is actually a gang leader and the leader of a notorious gang, people, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. So anyways, people, like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.